Good day guys and welcome to the channel. We are finally in the new house. It's only been two days and this happened. We got a good amount of snow. Uh, it's funny because two days ago when we moved in, we were in t-shirts, no jackets required. And uh, today we got some snowfall. But anyway, you guys wanted to see the garage reno um, on, on the new place. The inside of the house is absolutely beautiful. It's all been redone, but this was very much neglected. So here is the garage. Don't mind the mess. We're still moving stuff in, but you get an idea of how neglected it was. Here's some shelves. They all got to come down off the wall. A uh, piece of two by four there where typically people put nails in it and hang their uh, shovels and stuff like that. Hooks in the ceiling. Um, the power or the uh, power box here is that's going to be all framed in and drywalled. Uh, some holes in the wall up there. The uh, this hanging light's got to go. Uh, everything off the wall. Nice pegboard there. Nice pegboard, but uh, I, I don't need it. I like the clean look. My uh, tool cabinets are going to go there that you've seen in the other videos at the old place. Uh, again, some cabinets uh, or some shelves. There's some uh, uh, you know remnants of things that were put up on the wall you can see the drywall has never been done it's never been painted all kinds of holes everywhere uh, so we're going to remove all this stuff clean it up the floor it's cement uh, but you can see it again they've spray painted on the ground something they just it's just a garage right most people just want a garage to park their cars and that's all that this has been for years but uh, we're going to change it make it look a lot better one thing i didn't show you guys is that yesterday uh, we had the garage door openers replaced. I didn't film it because I thought, well, not a big deal. Um, the doors were replaced, but the garage doors, the seals around the doors were absolutely terrible. If you shut the doors, you could see outside. Uh, there's, you know, air gaps everywhere around the doors. This way will stop, you know, any rodents or anything like that or weather, you know, will stop the cold from getting in, but they were totally resealed. He put all new weather strips all around the door. Um, and at the bottom of the door so it's perfectly sealed and again new door openers so my job today is to strip this and get it ready because the painters are coming tomorrow they're going to fix all the drywall get a coat of paint on it and then the plan is that the following week we're going to have the floor done in epoxy they'll come in grind the floors put an epoxy coating down and uh, that should be it for the garage then i've got to move all my tools in and uh, you know get it the way I had it at the old house so let's get started okay so everything's off the walls all the shelves I cleaned it all we've uh, taken this ugly pegboard thing that was there um, all the hooks out of the, off the ceiling and uh, I think it's ready now for the drywaller and the paint we'll see uh, how it goes tomorrow okay so it's the next day and you can see that a lot of the drywall repairs have been done. Actually, it looks not too bad at all. There was holes in this wall here up there. You can see a patch. There was a big hole down here. Um, and the mud is like almost dry. Very good. There's another guy coming tomorrow to box this whole uh, uh, panel box or area here all in. And he's going to fix this uh, attic access uh, door here it's all falling apart and looks like crap so he's going to take care of that but the guy with the uh the mudding did pretty good i mean it looked like he mudded almost this whole area uh there was so many nail holes and screw holes in that so not too bad at all pretty impressive so far so we'll see what uh, the guy tomorrow does with this box and uh i'm sure he's got to do a couple more layers of mud to get this all straight and ready for paint We'll check back in tomorrow. Okay, so we are in day five, I believe, and you can see they threw up a coat of paint, um, and then they could see some, it's, it's hard to see in here. So when, after they threw up a quick coat of paint, they noticed some spots uh, that needed to be touched. So they touch those, then they give it a quick prime and repaint and do the final coat. Uh, you can see the edges are not done. The ceiling is completely done, which looks great, except for that ugly looking box, but he promises me he'll get that done. Um, and what took a little bit of time was this box here. Now this is a honking box and I didn't think it was going to be that big, but it's something to do with where the studs are and hitting the studs or something like that. But anyway, it, it's fine. They're gonna put a, uh, like a swivel door here um, that, that, you know, will 
hold up up there somehow. Um, and uh, I, I don't know, it's not bad. I mean, I didn't want it to stick out this much, although it is far from the garage door so that, you know, if you park here, it's not gonna get in the way at all. Um, but, you know, I was thinking I can also use it as some kind of shelf to put things in as well. Um, I can put a, a piece of plywood maybe over top of this and just rest some things in there uh, for storage. Um, which is not bad, but you can see that that's just drywalled right now. They have still got to go in and uh, final sand prime it and then continue painting the whole thing uh, They painted the door somewhat. Uh, this one's not finished yet. Uh, this one needs another coat, but they were having problems with the uh, Metal when they were painting it. It was sweating and water was running down a bit on their paint So we had to run some fans and crank the heat up in here a bit so that it wouldn't uh, and you can see now it's stopped There's no more water or moisture on these steel uh, Partitions there, so they should be able to finish that hopefully today um, And then we get ready for the floor, but I'll show you the completed job uh, Once it's uh, the paint is complete anyway, and then we'll move on to the floor now something I wanted to show you guys here is the uh, sneak peek at what, what the dream garage or where it's going to be located. This is the driveway here and what I'm going to do is veer off to the right here with a, a drive, you know, a small driveway here. We'll cut through this area um, and we'll have to obviously remove this tree, but it's going to continue on into the side lot here. Now, see, here's the issue, and, and some maybe some of you guys uh, can help me with this, but see, this is where my septic tanks are. And uh, according to the plans, it's 16 feet over, and then the weeping bed lies in there. So I've got about 16 feet here that I can cross with a vehicle, except the main pipes run across here. So what I was thinking of doing is building like a sort of a cement bridge where we do a square of cement here so that the pressure of tires is not... Uh, over one spot is pressing on the whole pad. Now the problem still is, is the workers. How are trucks gonna get back here to work, uh, you know, on and dig and excavate for the building when, you know, I've got pipes running across here. So some suggestions would be appreciated. Anyway, it'll continue out this way. And uh, it'll be basically, you can see a, a volleyball net here that they have, that'll come down. I've got 45 feet on this lot the side lot here and the building will be 30 feet so we'll have four feet from the fence here that surrounds the pool area uh, we'll have four feet and then 30 feet and then 10 feet you know uh, on the side but that's a plan so it's hopefully going to be a 30 by 60 building in this area and uh, that's the plan so far <laughs> so we'll see because you know plans always do get uh, ruined sometimes but that is the plan right now and uh, we'll see if we can uh, you know go through with the the way I, I envision it anyway okay so it's Sunday morning uh, there the paint is complete they started this on Monday repairing the drywall getting that all uh, smooth and then painting it last night he was here until midnight I mean he didn't start till 6 or so because he was doing something during the day however he finished at about midnight and it's all done so as you can see much much cleaner than it was uh, now it's starting to look like the kind of garage that I like to uh, have because I like to come out into the garage and uh, basically have it feel like the inside of my house. Um, I'll shut the doors here so that you can take a look uh, at the doors too. The doors were really nasty. That's just an insulation barrier, but it was really nasty looking. He painted that and you can see uh, it's a lot brighter now and it looks good. Um, I changed the lighting a little bit. I put these uh, globe LEDs. I don't know if you can see them or not, but the side ones flip down. Uh, you can direct them any way you want. They're not very strong. Originally, I bought uh, 100 watt each, and it was like crazy bright in here. You couldn't even look up at the lights. So uh, I dropped it down to 40 watt each, and that seems to be a lot better. With the garage lights, um, it's not too, too bad. Um, so uh, now the next thing we're gonna do is get the floor done. Uh, they are coming here on Wednesday, so I've got a few days to uh, prepare uh, for that. Um, they're gonna grind it down, you know, do the epoxy flooring, and hopefully, hopefully I can be here to film some of the process that they do, because it is interesting, and I know that a lot of you guys that might wanna do this for yourselves, uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see the process that they do. Um, if you are going to do it yourself, I did that on the last house and I had some peeling issues where the tires got hot and sat on it and that 
probably because I didn't do any clear coats, I think. Um, but anyway, if you if you I'd recommend for the price difference, I, I'm hiring guys to do it just because uh, I don't want any issues and, and I want it to come out real nice and I've seen some of their work and they do great work. So I'm hiring them to do that. Um, you can do it yourself. A lot of people have successfully, a lot of people have unsuccessfully. I was one of the unsuccessful ones. Uh, so I decided this time for the eight or 900 bucks more uh, to let them do it and uh, you know, do it right and with a warranty too. So if there's anything wrong, they can fix it all up. But anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think about the process so far. I think I'm going to break up this video into two because it may be a little too long. Um, so I'll do the next one as uh, the flooring uh, part of the reno anyway. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget tune in for part two and uh, then we'll show you when it's all complete. See you in the next one. Peace.